14 trophies in the A-League era between them. Brisbane Raw and Melbourne victory come together again. The immediate aim, continued improvement on the long road to success. Plenty to play for, two clubs who have won plenty. Live around the country, it's more A-League on the way. George, a lovely little touch through there from Dan Zaki and Wenzel Halls. He can't stop scoring, Dylan Wenzel Halls. Victory have been punished for their sluggish start. Brisbane off and running again. Here's Scott McDonald. Oh, what a goal. Brisbane Raw have doubled their advantage. Scott McDonald wants to go over and celebrate by himself. He's just about to be jumped on now. Raw on fire. And it's quite a strike. But again, the ball comes out from the victory defence. No one's reacting. No pressure on Scott McDonald. And a player of his pedigree, one sits up like this. He strikes it just beautifully. Crocombe cannot be expected to save that. I have Amy Chapman, former Matilda, part of the coverage this afternoon. McDonald. Runners just coming forward, free into space. Brown's cross is awkward, very awkward. It's extremely awkward. Riku Danzaki's got a goal. It's three for the Raw. It's an abomination at the back for victory. Melbourne victory's inability to get within the same postcode as Brisbane players is resulting in these calamitous defensive situations. 3-0 for Brisbane. Danzaki deserves goals based on his contribution the early start of this season. My football app, but uh, wow, this is unmissable if you're a Brisbane Raw fan. Good times roll on. Traore, rare foray forward, and they got one back all of a sudden. It's a lovely little neat finish from Lewis Laurie Latanzio. Victory, awake, maybe. Well, it's almost a vaudevillian start here at Dolphin Stadium. Corner's a good one. Again, it's a free header, and it's a fourth, and it's a double to Scott McDonald, who goes in the other direction to celebrate this one. Well, what's happened is just a complete lack of application in the centre of Melbourne Victory's defence. Here's Jake Brimmer. Too easy. Too easy. And Victory, perhaps, are back in business. The acceleration, the athleticism, the experience of Robbie Cruz to win the free kick. And then the brilliance of Jake Bremer. I'm not quite sure what happened to that Brisbane wall. But Bremer strokes the ball home. Back to Young. Crazy first half. Sixth time in A-League history. There's been six goals in a half. Must be the heat. Four of those games, including this one, have included... Brisbane Roar over the top. It could be a seventh. Dylan Wenzel Halls. He's going to have a go straight away. Has he got him? Just bounces over the crossbar. Ingenious move from Dylan Wenzel Halls. Donald and Gillespie continues. Just invitation to stroll through. Back post. Another goal. Dan Zaki with a double. Oh, it's too easy from Brisbane. Down into the penalty area, sees the space available. No one tracking Danzaki. For that matter, no one bothered with Macaulay Gillespie as he puts it on for the Japanese import, who makes it five for Brisbane. All the way back to Kroger. Danzaki cuts it out, just no ball speed there from the keeper. And straight into the box, and Scott McDonald! just wide of that left post. Taunting himself to manufacture the shot on goal. Brimmer. Pays the feet. Through goes Storm Roo. Unlikely shot on goal. Slightly off their game defensively and totally against the run of the game. Brisbane run the risk of conceding goals. If you're going to pick a hole in Brisbane when the score should have blown out even more in their favour. Just a little bit of sloppiness in front of goal, a bit too casual. But the job done otherwise. And Brisbane are now top of the league. Melbourne victory, the bottom.
And that is the disparity between the two sides this afternoon. A wonderful afternoon for the home side. In the end, Brisbane Raw 5, Melbourne Victory 2.